Hey everyone, Keith here from Tips and Tricks HQ. In this very quick video, I'm going to demonstrate the use of the pricing table WordPress plugin. Now, this plugin can be used to create any uh, any type of pricing tables for membership sites, for web hosting sites, um, for anything that you want. It's just essentially a table of prices, and then you specify what the what features you get with the prices. You've seen them before. Um, as an example, I'll show you right at the bottom here. I've already created one, and you can see at the bottom it's here's the preview for it and now this is one is for uh, for a web hosting example where there's different hosting basic hosting package and advanced hosting package and the different features that are available in the cost so I'll show you exactly how to set that up first of all you gotta install and activate the plugin any, like you would any other standard plugin <coughs> excuse me then you give the pricing table a name at the top specify the number of columns and this will be the number of pricing plans that you have so in this case I set up two columns because I have a basic hosting package and an advanced hosting package and then you specify the number of feature rows and that would be in this case there's four I got one to specify how many domains there are one how many visits how much storage you get and whether you get SSL or not so those are the four feature rows that I created and then you can enable or disable a description column. So that would the description column would show up on the far left, and then you can call it features, for example. And then you might put in um, storage space in in one in row three, and then just put 10 gigs in this row instead of, and then just unlimited here rather than the full word unlimited storage because this row would specify how much storage you have. Actually, I'll enable that to show you how that looks. Okay, so then we can describe each of the fields that we have there. Okay, and then there's different templates that you can choose from. So you've already seen template three. Let's switch it to template two and see how that looks. Just click refresh table preview. And then you get a new look and feel for the uh, pricing table. And then there's a basic one for template one. I'll switch to that right now. There you go. And then you can switch to um, you switch the alignment of the tables as well as whether the text is left or right justified or centered. So we'll left justify all the text within the table just to see how it looks. There you go. And then for every column you put here, you just fill in all the necessary information for that for that pricing plan. And of course, you put the names of the pricing plans at the top. And then right here, you will specify the, the cost. This isn't tied, tied to any buy now button or anything like that. So this could be text. So if you had a free option, you could just put free in there. And then these are optional fields so you don't have to put anything in there at all and then as for the buttons um, you can have them buy now buttons and then you can just this is just where the URL goes where you can link to um, to make the purchase or you can have it to provide more information so you can put more info And then this link would be to a web page with more information where they can make the purchase. So then we have our more info button. And that's all there is to it. You can uh, create as many as you want. And then when you're done creating them, you can just click on publish. And then all pricing tables will list all, your, all the pricing tables that you have. And then to, input, to add it to an existing page, all you do is all you need to do is copy that short code and then embed it into a to a page or a post. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Again, this is Keith from Tips and Tricks HQ. Have a great night.